Welcome to this Courageous Conversation. A Courageous Conversation helps us to engage in dialogue with people we don't normally speak to, about things we don't normally speak about, or with those we speak to all the time about topics we would rather avoid. Hey, it's Tim Mulvaney. How are you? Today's going to be sort of an interesting conversation, at least to me. Yesterday's New York Times, uh, in their magazine section, uh, dated the 10th of December, had was their edition, their 2006 ideas edition. So it talks about nearly 100 ideas. Uh, actually, uh, what was it? 90 different ideas that were of interest in 2006. One of those ideas is a concept called homophily. Homophily, H O M O P H I L Y. Uh, actually, comes all the way back. Sociologists, as you'll see in the article, coined that all the way back in 1950. But it, uh, sort of what it's called is love of the same, or another way is you know birds of a feather flock together. And interestingly enough, the reason it's in the in now in sort of in the news or in their ideas thing is talking about social networking sites. Is that you know MySpace and Amazon and all these places will you know you'll buy something, you'll be a part of something, you'll say you know people who buy this also like this, and folks who are over here like this. Risk there is the question is is that creating a closed loop of people who are only like me? And of course, there's comfort in that. You know, life is easy. As another connection to a blog that you're going to see in here is life is easy when you're unchallenged. You know, it's it's great when everyone you're sitting around a group and everyone and everyone um, agrees with you and says, "Yep, that's absolutely the way it should be." And you, I can't believe how smart you are. So that's always that's all a true thing. But of course, the risk in that and the hard part about that is about diversity because every organization is talking about oh, how do we increase the diversity of our organization, how do we increase the, increase the retention and the recruitment, how do we keep people in the organization long enough to move them up. You know, as we just last week put the post around uh, ad agencies and law firms leg and we talked there where the, uh, of the 60,000 some partners in law firms, 95% are white. So they're struggling with that very notion of of the heterophily, which is difference. You know, so how do I network and, and connect to people who are different? And which is where courageous conversations came from, where there's a conscious effort. And that's the thing, we have to make, you know, connecting to people different than ourselves doesn't happen naturally. The natural sort of tendency seems to be closer to the hem- homophily. So to do that. We have to treat it as a conscious decision to go, okay, how am I going to get information and connect and, and, and get to the shorthand with this person who is different than me? And studies do show the more contact you have with somebody, eventually you sort of move, it moves closer to homophilia where we, you know, we end up with the common experience and we end up with the common language and the common shorthand and a way to connect to each other. So, but of course that takes some time. Versus when you when we start with somebody who's like me, that that of course that process happens much quicker because we're already talking, you know, boy, here's just how it is, and we all sort of you know inherently agreed to that because we've had the same experiences or come out of pretty much the same way. So diversity is about helping that and courageous conversations. The goal of that is to break that concept and is to break into more of a heter- heterophilia and feely and more serendipity, which is you know, surprising the user. What's some piece of information that may be different and interesting to me outside my current and common knowledge? So in this post, you'll see some links to a variety of places that uh, give some background on other background on homophily. But if you're looking to actually take some action about that and you actually set up a process and a system, let me know because Courageous Conversations can help you with that. Where you know, it's three three-hour sessions, three weeks apart, Couple speakers from from diverse backgrounds at each session. So in the session themselves, in the session, each session itself, there is some serendipity. There's some uh, there's some heterophily where people are actually engaging with people different than themselves, being surprised by the information they hear, both things that they agree with and maybe not disagree with or are new to them. So take a look at all that. Uh, just was a interesting information to me today. So I just want to let you know about it. So listen, thanks very much for listening. This is Tim Mulvaney, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye now.